everyone. I've got this flashlight from Gearbest as a a giveaway prize, so I'm not sure on but I did I actually did win a giveaway uh from Gearbest that was held on BLF forum so so I have received, I've received this uh, flashlight uh, almost two weeks ago two weeks ago yeah I'm not uh, so I've been using it on and off and I actually I'm I'm quite surprised how how I actually uh, like this flashlight I never owned a U torch before U torch is a gear best own brand like uh, Astrolux from Banggood if you, if you know uh, Astrolux uh, flashlights you thought it's their own, it's a Gearbest own brand, so let's open it. So this is not an unboxing, I'm just showing you the what's inside the box. Because I've been using this flashlight for more than a week, so uh, let's see what's inside the box. we got the manual here. Hold on. you got the manual. You can pause if you like. It's a 6000 lumen neutral white cool white option if you want a cool white or a neutral white. In my case, well, because this is basically gift, so I'm probably not in the position to ask for a neutral white or cool white. And this is the rest of the um, a lockout mode of operation, battery capacity indicator. Yeah, it even has intelligent temperature protection system, which they call ITS. So you can pause if you like. Um, so if you want to, sh uh, it says here battery operation. So if you want to know your battery capacity, just in off position, you click twice. Should blink two, three, four, four, which means uh, the battery is full. So, if you have four flashes, which mean it means 100 capacity, three times is 70 and 100, which means three and quarter, twice, which means 50 percent, one less than. No, no, if you can see less than 30 percent one bling which means less than 30 percent I hope you can see that yeah. well um yeah this flashlight I'm so I mean in, it's, it's using a 16340 battery which is interesting um, I'm quite quite surprised that the flashlight itself is considerably smaller than the Nightcore EC11 which use uh, 18 350 battery the battery itself is not you know it's not that massively really different as you can see that but the the diameter of the flashlight is quite significant I mean this is still a all it, this is a short flashlight but still it still it is quite thick compared to this. 18650 D4 from Emisa. So yeah, um, this is quite big for 18350. As you can see, as you can see from, see how small that is. Yeah, amazing, right? That's why I love it. Um, yeah, it's it's making 600 lumens with uh, a battery made by, uh, no, not made, probably. A rebounded pretty battery by Lumintop 700 mAh battery also has this battery has charging capacity so you just plug in your um, power bank maybe let's try it let's charge the battery Okay, how much how much current it draws? Three 
0.33 m m so it's about 300 milliamps so in the uh, this is this, this battery is probably almost full so not sure how much it draws when it's empty but uh yeah it is quite handy if i say if i would say that to have the usually i don't really like a uh, built-in rechargeable battery like this because it eats away the capacity because you have to put a charging circuit on the front like so the battery itself is only this long and the rest is the circuit for the charging yeah but in this case i quite a lot because you just like you, you just, in, when, when traveling you don't need to bring a separate charger or anything so yeah quite i quite like it uh no tail cap as you can see and oh yeah um the tail is magnetic as you can see there yeah the tail is magnetic let's switch it on oh wait, before i switch it on let me show you the front side the front side of the let me brighten up a bit maybe it'll help yeah hope you can see it yeah there is no reflector on this side on this flashlight so it has a, a spherical lens uh, yeah it looks like it's a spherical made of glass i suppose yeah i think it is glass and a stainless steel bezel yeah i'm kind of surprised that the quality of the u-torch is i mean yeah um, I quite I quite like it. I mean, feel nice, feel feel nice in your hands. Mm, clean design. There's a sharp. No, yeah, there is a sharp. There is a sharp edges on this, but I don't think it will cut you or anything. So yeah, this is this light is pure flood. So it's probably too big for a keychain and uh, as you can see the the beam is just flat no hot spot in there let me let me reduce the exposure so you can see it see as you can see let me let me manually zoom it and uh, manually focus it Hold on. there we go let's start let's switch it off first did you see that? It actually ramp to the next mode, ramp up or either ramp up or ramp down. So it just it doesn't go blindly like that. Switch it on and then it's just bam. It actually ramps slowly to to the desired mode. As you can see that. I think this is low. This is medium. This is high. Uh, I don't know. This is the low. Yep. Yeah, let, let, let me switch off the light. Hold on, where's the. Yep, this is the. Let me increase that a bit. Now, there you go. So, this is look exactly like I see in the. in my with my real eyes. So, this is low. This is medium. This is high. And then this is, as you can see, you see that? It ran down gently. So there are four modes uh, moonla moonlight, low, medium, and high. That when the moonlight is separated, so if to, to access the moonlight, you just have to press it. For two second, press and hold for two second. There you go. See, it's a glowing amber. Uh, not sure how many blue. It's a sublumens. It says zero point five lumens on the manual. So this is the moonlight, the moonlight mode. Let me zoom it a bit. Yeah. So this is a blue. Okay, so it, this is, yep, as 
you can see there is no hot spot on this if to, to switch it off you just press and hold like so compare this to um, nightcore you can see that this one has reflectors oh, and PWM on the low mode so you can see the flickering oh. mm -hmm. yep. this one the nightcore will, will definitely throw better but this is a bigger fast light yeah I didn't notice uh, any PTWM on this flash light which is nice it's probably a constant current driver on this yeah which is nice that's why I like it no PWM or the probably the, or maybe I don't know maybe a higher frequency, frequency PWM but I think this is not PWM for such for such a cheap flashlight this is actually quite good let me switch the light back on there we go yeah mm -hmm. actually quite like it we also got um, let me switch the focus back on um, you got the clip here and your usual o-ring spare, spare o-rings two of them so, which I never use nothing more so yeah um, just keep that in keep in mind that this is a pure flood so only short range or medium maybe in um, a room indoor or maybe it's just a bit of outdoor performance I mean yeah there's not much draw in this but the uniform light beam is quite nice to work with it doesn't blind you or anything and if you leave if you leave it on turbo if you leave uh, switch it off on turbo it remember its position so let's do a turbo which is low medium high and switch it off when you switch it on again it won't just blind you with like bang on on turbo it, it will ramp up see nice so yeah uh, uh, nice flashlight, light especially for the price you, you can get this on Gearbest um, yeah this is um, compared to the other flashlight this is a Zenflare F6 a smaller flashlight with smaller battery too oops I always open wrong and on this one. Oh yeah, that's tight. And this one is using even smaller battery. It says um ten eighteen zero. Oh there's more battery yeah. So yeah, um thank you for keeping up with me until the end. Um Hope you all have a nice day. Thank you for watching.